Hey guys, it's Jean-Claude, and we have another deck opening today for a patron. It's for Rick Full Ford. Um, oh man, which one? We'll just keep going in order. All right, I want to thank everyone for wishing me and my wife a happy anniversary yesterday. We really appreciated that. That was really cool to come back and see all those messages. We had a pretty full day, and it was a lot of fun. Finish it off with watching Stranger Things, uh, which is a wonderful series. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have. It's probably the biggest thing on Netflix. All right. It's a yellow Archon. Yellow? Man, I haven't seen a yellow one in a long time. It's Brobnar. Ooh, I was going to say, I know Rick likes Brobnar, Sanctum, and Logos. is kind of his dream deck. This. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. At least give him Sanctum then. It has some great Amber Control. Oh, it is! <laughs> All right, Brobnar Dis and Sanctum. Aristoret, Brother Great, Babudis. Wait, Babudius. Okay. All right, let's hope you get something incredible here. It's always nice to see great decks. All right, we're hoping for nice big creatures in Brabnar with awesome effects. We're hoping Sanctum has some capture. And this, I'm not quite sure exactly what we're looking for yet in this set, but probably just a decent amount of amber. And on a personal level, I don't mind something like Yerks. All right, starting off with Sanctum. We see this guy a lot. Is this like one of the only rares in Sanctum? This is crazy. I mean, he's great. He's great in this set, but we just see him so much. It's Sanctum Guardian. He's six power, one armor, taunt. Fight Reap, swap Sanctum Guardian with another friendly creature in your battle line. Uh, he's actually been pretty good in a lot of decks we've seen. Let's hope he can continue that trend. Doom of the Martyr, three power, destroyed. Fully heal each other friendly creature and draw two cards. I like that one. Oh, the Spirit's Way, destroy each creature with power three or higher. Nice. Rothius the Fierce, four power, two armor, taunt. Hazard is four. This guy, if you haven't played with him, oh man. May you never have to face him. Take hostages. Amber, whatever you play it, for the remainder of the turn, each time a friendly creature fights, you, it captures one amber. Smite. Ready and fight with a friendly creature. Deal two damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. Sir Maros, four power, two armor. After your opponent gains amber by reaping, Sir Maros captures it. Healing Blast. One amber to every plate. Fully healed creature. If you healed four more damage this way, gain two. Pretty good since you already have like a six power creature in here. You'll be able to potentially fight with it, get it down to where you can heal the four, and then get three amber off this one card. Golden Aura. Choose a creature. Fully heal the chosen creature. For the remainder of the turn, the chosen creature is considered to be in house sanctum and cannot be dealt damage. I always like seeing this card in Brabnar decks. Blinding Light. One amber to every plate. Choose a house. Stun each creature of the house. Ah, finally. Abade the Grim. Four power, one armor. Play. Capture three amber. Reap. Discard one amber from Abade the Grim. Very nice. Oh, and a Lion Bautrum. Four power, one armor. Deploy. His neighbors get plus two power, so that's actually really good now because you can at least maybe protect this guy a little bit longer, then also be able to heal him, whether it's through Golden Aura or Healing Blast. So that, that's a nice card to see. Oh, and now we're on to Dis. I love this guy so much. It's Overlord Grecking. Seven power. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Overlord Grecking, put that creature into play under your control. I love a lot of the unique abilities, the things like purging and like taking control of opponent's creatures. It's so good in this. Oh, and you got a Collar of Subordination. Talk about taking control of things. Uh, it's an upgrade. You control this creature. Very nice. Poltergeist. Amber, whatever you play it. Use an artifact controlled by any players if it was yours. Destroy that artifact. This is probably my favorite artifact to control now. It used to be Snecklifter, but there's too many artifacts now. You just have to get off the board, and Poltergeist gives you the amber while also doing it. And sometimes using the artifact, so that's awesome. Hysteria. Return each creature to its owner's hand. Blood Shard Amp 2 power. After a creature reaps, its controller must sacrifice it. Anguish, 6 power. For each damage on Anguish, your opponent's keys cost plus 1 amber. This guy's so good. Oh, and you got the Lash of Broken Dreams. It's an artifact. Action keys cost plus 3 during your opponent's next turn. So good. Gub, 1 power. While he's not on the flank, gets plus 5 power and gains taunt. Cole the Weak, amber in every plate. Destroy the least powerful enemy creature. And you have Charette, nice. Four power, play. Capture three amber. Two charrettes. Okay, that's really good. So you have an Aubade and you have two charrettes. Very nice in AOA to get at least, I mean, those are big capture cards. I mean, how many times does your opponent get up to, you know, seven, 
or eight amber and now you're able to just take them off a key and you have it within two different houses that's really good banish amber and every plate put an enemy creature into your opponent's archives okay temporary removal hmm i don't know if this is the card i want to see when you start off with brobnar it's little rapscal two power elusive creatures must fight when used if able flamethrower it's an artifact action deal one damage to a creature with a one damage splash Pound, one amber every plate, deal two damage to a creature with a one damage splash. Hmm, we need big creatures. Oh, that's <laughs> the moment I say something. Here's Lollop the Titanic, he's 11 power. He deals no damage when attacked. Into the fray, for the remainder of the turn, a friendly Brabnar creature gains fight, ready this creature. Very nice. I love using this card to break through an opponent's elusive creatures and then still be able to kill him. Especially if you've got something like Lollop, because he should be able to take out three creatures just on his own. Groke, five power, fight. Your opponent loses one amber. Okay. Actually, that's a great way to control your opponent's amber. Into the fray, your Groke, and then do the same thing against your opponent's elusive creatures. Groggins, eight power. When he's used to fight, he can only attack flank creatures. And you have two of him. Not bad, because he's still eight power. Coward's end, destroy each undamaged creature, gain three chains. Bramo, four power, deal two damage to each enemy flank creature. Bingle Bang Bang, two power before the fight, deal five damage to each neighbor of the creature Bingle Bang Bang fights, and one last card. I think he's one of the last cards that can appear in Brabnar, so it's either another one of him or I think one two stun, that's what I'm going to guess. I've never seen any other card after him besides himself or a one two punch. Yep, yep, it's another Bingle Bang Bang. All right, Brabnar was weaker than I was hoping for. Uh, luckily, there are ways to still use these Brabnar creatures that we had in Sanctum. So that's not too bad. And also having the big creature, the Groggins, and the Lollop also will turn on your Healing Blast. So you can at least uh, maybe hit the three Amber more reliably than most decks can. So let's pull up the Amber. Hmm, wait, now that I'm thinking back, there wasn't that much Amber in here. But in Sanctum and Brobnar, I mean, you can't expect that much. See here, and yeah, God, you did have some extra amber control thanks to these two. That's that's actually really good. Yeah, this this is pretty good at least on amber control, but we'll get to that next. And the artifact control is always important. I said you got the best one. Let's see here. Okay, well there was a little bit more amber in Sanctum, but it's not going to be much here. One, I think you can reliably hit the three on here. I normally don't say that about too many decks, but you got the right creatures, you got the right combination of cards to do it. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine amber. Hmm. Here's another amber control card. Let's get the amber control cards up because this actually has quite a bit for AOA. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that's already ridiculous. Seven. Oh, uh, he can be one, but we're still going to keep it at seven. Okay, yeah, that's actually really good for AOA. Seven cards over a sixth of your deck. It almost, let's see, you're approaching 25% of your deck is going to be amber control. So that's actually really good. And it's a lot of times it says big amber control. The plus three, the taken three. I mean, that, that's really huge. This could be some more. Let's look at the amount of creatures in here. Because I, I, I'm kind of conflicted as I'm thinking back. I feel like we might have been lighter in Sanctum, but maybe I'm just misremembering. I know there was a bunch in Brobnar. Let's get these up here. And the Flamethrower, I just don't know how I feel about that card. It, it's so kind of puny in a, a deck like this, but who knows? Maybe, maybe you're going to find some situations where he can do some big, big damage. Hold on. Okay, I got caught up on that. Let's see here. want to make sure I didn't miss a creature. That kind of counts as a creature, too, because you are taking an opponent's creature. Hmm, okay, I guess there was more than I thought, so that's not too bad. Only nine amber generations, seven amber control. You got five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, twenty-one creatures. That's actually pretty good then, because you're going to be able to control the board. You got great, great cards once they're on the board. They just have huge effects. That's what's really important whenever it comes to creatures. You want to make sure they're going to have an impact on the game. You just don't want like a silly creature that sits there and isn't doing anything. Because that almost doesn't even count as a creature sometimes. Because you can't rely on reaps all the time. So having these effects is just very powerful. Uh, you do have quite a bit of... Besides that, you also have good board control because of Blinding Light, Pull the Weak, Banish, 
into the frays board control as well. Pound, Coward's End. Yeah, you got, man, you got a lot of board control. It might almost be too much based upon how many creatures you have, but still, it's nice to have some answers. I think you might find yourself dis well, I don't know, Coward's End. The good thing about Coward's End is it's not a symmetrical effect. You can try and control yours a little bit better, especially if you've got the bigger creatures. Attack if you make it where more your creatures survive, then finish off your all the rest of your opponent's creatures with Coward's End. Be able to reap with the remaining creatures, uh, whether it was beforehand or afterwards. But yeah, this is, uh, I love that you have two different ways to steal your opponent's creatures. That's great. Uh, yeah, a little bit of Amber Control also there with the Blood Shard Imp. I mean, you just got things that once they go on the board, they, they have a big impact. But yeah, I would have liked to see a little bit more Amber in here, but as I said, the Amber Control is way more than you should expect. So hopefully that'll help you win some games. And, and then also, I believe a big card in this deck... I think he's always a great card, but a bigger card in this deck is actually Lion Bottrum. Why do I think he's so good? Overlord Grecking, he has to survive the fight to be able to take the creature. So turning him into a 9 power creature, that's a big difference. That's a, a much bigger creature you can take, or a whole bunch of smaller creatures he's able to take and put onto your side. Turning Rothius into a larger creature, I mean, it's just amazing keeping this guy on the board, having that hazardous 4. It's just really, really good. And same with the Sanctum Guardian. Putting that next to some sort of creature you want to protect. Making him into an 8 power creature is just really huge. I mean, and then, think of it this way. Even the Lion Bottrum next to a Lollop with Into the Fray. I mean, if your opponent does have big creatures, they're also a Brobnar Sanctum deck. You're going to be able to take care of them. There's some times where you can make it where Bingle Bang Bang can just survive. A lot of times he fights... You're going to be sacrificing him to do the 5 damage to the other creatures. In some cases now, he can take out a 3 power creature, get those effects, keep him on the board. That's It's really good. It's really powerful, actually. Same with Grok. Just being able to make sure he survives for the fight effect afterwards to be able to make your opponent lose more amber is just powerful. And I will never, ever be upset anytime you can keep Lion Bottrum next to any of these guys just to make it that much harder for your opponent to get back their amber. He's actually, in a, it's in a weird way, he's kind of like the biggest guy in this deck. I think he just uh, makes all these creatures that much better. Same with Anguish. I mean, it's amazing what that two power does. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to rate this deck. It's a, it's a little above average because I think the Amber Control takes it up a notch. Um, but I think this deck is right around a B-. Um, it, it's hard because the actual Amber itself is low. It's going to be all about getting yourself on the board, controlling your opponent's side of the board, try and get as many reaps as you can. And the good news is, even if your opponent has a way to deal with your creatures, you're able to then control their board through your various effects, and you also will have plenty of creatures you're going to draw back into to repopulate your board. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.